Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey what's up? My name is Caitlin, and I probably look a little funny right now because I do have my base makeup and my brows done and nothing else. But that is because today we're going to be doing the Google Picks My Makeup Challenge. It was created by Nikki Tutorials, I do believe. Uh, I think she's the first one to do it, and it's really fun. All you do is you type in the first initial of your first name and the first initial of your last name, and then look into Google. Here comes my cat, as per usual. And then whatever the first image that comes up on the screen is, is what you do to inspire your look. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to be doing today. So how this works is we go to Google and we type in our first initials and look. So that'd be KH, look for me, enter. We got all this stuff, Kingdom Hearts right there. Now we're going to go up to images. And the first image, which is this one right here, is what we're going to use to do our makeup. So I see a lot of blue in his look, a couple different tones. That's a little obscene. Um, a little bit of gold, a lot of yellow in his hair, and some hints of silver and black, and a lot of white in this backspace. So I am going to go through my collection real quick and see what I can find. All right, I'm back. So this is actually harder than I thought it would be. I thought it would be kind of easy because it's a lot of blues, but I really wanted something with that yellow tone of his hair, or her hair, I'm not really sure. But um, I don't really have like anything. Like I had to pull out this palette, which you guys can't get anymore, so sorry about it, but it's the Lorac um, Beauty and the Beast palette. And literally this shade right here called Enchanting is the closest thing I have to his hair, so. That sucks, but that's what we're going to work with. So, I'm just going to go ahead and go right into it. I am going to use the Smashbox um, Matte Exposure Palette for just some transition shades. I'm going to take a fluffy brush. We're going to go into this like cool tone shade right there. And put that in just above the crease. Just kind of create a transition shade. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing yet, but that's how I do all of my looks is kind of get an idea and then go for it, but it doesn't always look how I envisioned. Like 99% of the time it doesn't look how I envisioned it would. So we're just going to go for it and see what happens. <laughs> my hair is a tragedy. I've been thinking about cutting it off just because it's like so much, just so much, but I feel like if I do, I'll be sad and regret it, but it's out of control and terrible, so I don't really know what to do. You guys should give me your opinions down below on what you think I should do, if I should cut it or not. Okay, so what blue do I want to use in the outer corner? Um, I kind of like this blue, just from the Trolls palette, but I don't know because it's kind of shimmery. This Lorac palette has this beast mode color. Yeah, we're going to start with that one. We're going to start with Beast Mode in the outer corner. Now that I have eyeshadow all over my hands again. We're going to take this fluffy brush from Luxie and I'm going to tap into that a little bit, just like that. And we're going to start that in the outer corner. And work it into the crease a little bit. Like that. Can you even see me? Am I even in frame? <sighs> I'm a terrible YouTuber, you guys. Like, just terrible. Like that. Probably should have started with the lid color now that I'm thinking about it. Should probably do that. Okay. We're going to pause there, which is going to look real weird, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette and pick up that um, white shade in here, which is called Okie Dokie right here. It's like the most matte white shade I have in my collection that actually like shows up and that's what I want. So we're gonna take this little brush right here by Royal and Lang Nickel, Lang Nickel, whatever, tap off the excess and that is what I'm putting on my lid. See like how much that shows up? Cause I am so pale and everything that's white really isn't white. <laughs> it just looks weird. There we go. So much better. Okay. Now that I have that down on the lid, we can continue with this blue mess. Alright. So, back to 
back into beast mode. Where's my brush? Here. I'm just going to keep going with this, pulling it in the crease as well. A little bit more. Just like that. I think I'm just going to do this one eye and then do this one off camera just to save some time. So now for, I feel like there's about three tones of blue, so I want to try to at least get three tones of blue in my um, eye here. So for this next one, we're going to pull from the Naked Smoky palette. This is the shade Dagger. Oh, dropping everything. And I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush, which we're going to use this e.l.f. Uh, blended eye brush. We're going to dip into Dagger. And then I'm going to put that closer, like right over top of this. That's pretty. Okay. I like dagger. Just like that. And into the crease as well. In court towards the like halfway in towards the um, inner corner in the crease. Not going clear out with it. Just to keep those two tones a little bit separate but still blended. Just like that. This is looking a little crazy right now, but that's okay. It'll come together, or it won't, whichever. Um, I'm gonna take some more of that white shade from the Laura Lee palette. I've got so many eyeshadow palettes open right now, it's crazy. If I can open this one again, there we go. I'm sorry that I'm pulling from so many different palettes, but I just didn't have the colors to work with. Okay, now I need a light blue shade. So we're going to stick with the Naked Smoky and we're going to take Slanted. Yeah, Slanted. And we're going to take another fluffy brush, pick that up, and just go even closer in. Just like that. To really get those three tones in there. And then I'm also probably going to put Slanted kind of in the crease, just blending everything together with Slanted and in the outer corner as well, just because I want to lighten that up a little bit and make it more blended. So right now I'm just using Slanted as basically a blending shade to blend this blue mess together. Okay. I do kind of want to clean it up in the inner corner a little bit. Uh, more white from the Laura Lee palette. We're going to use that to kind of clean this up. Just like that. And we'll pull that into the inner corner as well. Hmm, okay. Now, let's move on to the lower lash line real quick and then come back to this. Um, I'm going to take this slanted brush right here and I'm going to pick up the original transition shades that we used first, which is in the palette that I'm holding. And run that along the lower lash line. It's really close. And then kind of pull it down a little bit farther, just like that. Now taking the same brush, I'm going to pick up um, Dagger, that like middle blue that we used from the Naked Smoky, and just focus that on the outer corner only, just like that. And then pulling it up towards the top of the eye, and then we're going to blend that together more. Okay, and now I need another small brush. This one is from Ulta, and we're gonna take Slanted, the lightest blue shade we used, and put that from inner corner to that darker blue. Blending them together. Going back into a fluffy brush, we'll use this one. It's not too fluffy, it's kind of like a rounded blend. This is from e.l.f. And I'm going to take those first transition shades again and blend it out with that. Okay. Now I need that first outer corner brush we used, which is somewhere. Use this one. And I'm just going to not add any more product, but I'm going to blend that harsh line that we created from the lower lash line up into this top here. Just 
so it's no hush lines. I do want a little more white. Just like that. Okay. So for the silver accent in his um, like buckles and stuff, or hers, not sure. Um, we're going to take this uh, liner, which is the 24-7 eyeliner in Platinum Blonde from Beauty For Real, and I'm going to put that in the waterline. Just to give that accent of silver. And this is kind of like a mixture between silver and gold, so I feel like it works for the silver and the gold that's in the picture. Okay. Oh, I just, cool. I just ran the cap of that all through this eyeshadow, so that's cool. Um, there's also an accent of black, so for that I'm going to take a small angled brush and we're going to pick up the black shade from the Shape Matters palette. Or, yeah, from the, um matte exposure palette that I have in my hand and we're going to run that along the lash line up top going all the way in starting kind of in the middle and then working it towards the inner corner rather than starting in the inner corner just because I want most of the pigmentation on the outer part we do want a little bit on the inner corner as well, just so it looks blended together. Just like that. Okay, for the brow bone, I do want a little bit of shimmer in this look. What do you look like? Mm, okay, we're gonna use a very light hand, but we're gonna use the shade High in the um, Naked Smoky palette, which is the lightest shade in there. And I'm gonna use that ever so slightly on the brow bone. And oh, dropping things and in the inner corner as well. Just a little bit of shimmer. All right, I'm gonna pop on some mascara and finish up the other eye and be right back. Okay, so mascara is on, other eye is done. We have the three tones of blue that are in his outfit. We've got the white that's the entire background, the gold and silver in the waterline for the um, accents of gold and silver and the black in the mascara and in the smudger but I completely forgot about the yellow so in order to kind of mimic the like yellow blonde hair I'm going to use a more golden highlight that I have so I'm going to use this shade in the um, Casey Holmes and Smashbox palette and that's what I'm going to use to highlight my face I don't usually do that because it is a little more golden than I like but that's okay we're going to do it today so I'm going to mix those two together and pop that on the high points of my cheek. I did add a little bit of blush too, just because I felt like I looked dead. So we added some Tarte Party blush and the mascara that I put on is Too Faced Better Than Sex, if you guys are wondering. So, Cupid's bow, chin, above the brow, a little bit. And down the nose, focusing mostly on the tip of the nose. Um, I feel like this shade is not as glowy, but it's alright. I went really heavy on the contour today. Slash bronzer. Alright, there's that. So. Final thing is lips. For my lipstick, I decided to do a nude just because of his skin tone or her skin tone. Um, she's a very pale girl like myself. So we're going to use this NYX High Voltage liquid lip, or not liquid lip, <laughs> lipstick in the shade Flawless. And these do, this one's the high voltage, but they are now called the Turnt Up lipstick, I believe. That's what they're called now. So. It's just really pale. There's that. Let's go ahead and spray my face. Some setting spray. This is the Project Beauty Spray Set Go. 
there's the finished look, you guys. Um, hmm. I'm not crazy about it, but I do like it. I feel like the blue might be a little much, but because it was so prominent in the picture, I felt like the blue kind of had to be a little bit much. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know down below what you think of this look. Um, I kind of want to try like other Google Picks My Makeup stuff. Like I know Nikki said that she's going to make it like a series by like trying different combinations of things or something. I don't know, maybe like typing in your favorite number or something and seeing what comes up. I don't know. But I feel like I want to try maybe your birthday. That might be fun. Let me know down below if you guys want to see that if I type in my birth date and see what picture comes up because I feel like that would be cool. Um, yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know down below if you like this look and what other challenges you want to see me do. And don't forget to subscribe before you go. Hit that like button and turn off my, turn on, not off, turn on my notification bell so you don't miss my uploads. Bye guys.